Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar. Then we'll go through the GFS, the GM, the ECMWF, the UK Met Office run and then the GFS and ECMWF ensembles and we'll finish it having a look at the UK Met Office 5 day precipitation and temperature and also the weather warnings. We do have some ice warnings as we have a few wintry showers coming up over the next 24 hours. It is looking pretty chilly over the next day or so but it's very temporary polar maritime air mass we see a bit of a squall line moving through tonight and we do have wintry showers behind it beyond that though it does look like it's going to be returning westerly but we are now seeing a signal we could be seeing a colder spell toward the middle of february maybe only lasting a few days but it uh, it will be quite quite uh, different to what we've had recently with a lot of mild westerly winds so it could be quite chilly or return to wintry showers for a few days and hard overnight frost. So we'll have a look at that in detail in this video. Just do remember, if you enjoyed my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now if we do have a look at the live radar, you can see we do have a squall line. Moving through, you can see heavy rain currently moving through sort of areas of like Glasgow, parts of Ireland and Northern Ireland as well. Bit of a gap there, but we still have significant rain and it's turning to snow over the higher ground of Scotland. You can see wintry showers packing in behind it. And that's something we're going to be seeing quite a lot over the next 24 hours with a lot of wintry showers. And they could even come quite far inland, even in central southern England, into the Midlands, into East Anglia. And they could fall as snow. Not expecting any significant accumulation at all, apart from maybe some areas over the Scottish Highlands and maybe a few isolated areas in the northwest. We could be seeing some falling snow, which I know some people haven't really seen at all so far this winter. So maybe a bit of a lamppost watching, uh, but we'll have to check on the radar, really. And you need to check on the radar over the next 24 hours to see when those wintry showers may spread further inland. But it won't be at least until around lunchtime tomorrow for many areas uh, across England and Wales. Now, if we do have a look at the latest from the GFS, we'll have a look at what's happening over the next couple of weeks and where we could potentially see some colder weather come in in around 7 to 10 days' time. Now, you can see generally westerly winds. We see those colder polar mountain air masses move through, but you can see we return back to more westerly flow. And then as we toward day 7, you see a bit of application in the jet stream. High pressure trying to bridge up towards Greenland and Iceland, and we see a bit of a north to northwesterly wind. Again, different runs make different, um, sort of have different outcomes. So you can see quite a cold air mass spread southwards. We're all in much colder air. Most precipitation would be falling as uh, a wintry nature. So snow, grout pole, uh, sleet. And you can see some very cold air spreading southwards. But we are quite uh, under quite a lot of high pressure. So most likely the biggest hazards will be hard overnight frost and cold days and nights. And you can see that cold air mass hangs around for a good couple days. Before eventually it does get pushed away once again by the Atlantic. But yeah, looks, yeah. Look, it could be a, a couple colder days there. And then we see gen generally westerly winds push back in. Uh, right towards the end of the run, things staying quite unsettled and unwesterly, really. So it could be a bit of a colder outbreak there, around day 7 to day 10. Um, all the models are showing some variation of it, some going colder and more prolonged. Others are staying, uh, going chillier, but uh, still going chilly, but sort of holding it off uh, and sort of reducing its severity. So if we do compare it to the GM run, see what's happening there. You can see once again westerly winds over the next couple of days with polar maritime air masses for a time. And then we see that ridge out in the North Atlantic and you see only a brief bit of northerly wind as low pressure does flatten it. Uh, we go westerly towards the end of the run. But if I do run it back very briefly, you'll be able to see we are in a colder air mass once again. Um, so yeah, it looks... Yeah, pretty cold, um, and yeah, pretty chilly indeed, um, even there only for a day or two. Now if we do have a look at the UK Met Office run, have a look um, what's going on with that over the next seven days. Now I can see northwesterly wind pushing in, and then right towards day seven you can start to see that application in the jet stream, and you do see that northerly flow, um, and you can see much colder air mass moving in again. Most likely to last a couple of days and would be chilly, frosty, um, hard to overnight frost with that. But we can rule out a few wintry showers, especially with low pressure close to Scandinavia, pulling in a northerly wind. Now if we also now have a look at the ECMOF run, see how that does compare. Again, 
Westerly winds over the next couple of days, and towards the end of the run, we see a northerly flow briefly come in, not making too much of it, to be honest, this is MWF run. Uh, but you can see we do pull in a cold air mass at least for a few days there. Uh, again, return to overnight frosts, chillier daytime conditions for maybe one or two days on the pessimistic runs, maybe three, four, five days on ones that hold it on for a bit longer. So, quite a big change potentially from what we're seeing at the moment. But by no means is it a massive cold snap, but it could be trending colder towards the middle of February. And we do see that really well on the GFS ensembles. Now you have a look at the AM50 HPA temperature and precipitation. You can see quite up and down over the next sort of five or six days. Quite cold at the moment, then it goes quite mild. And then we see a real big drop off in temperatures around minus 500, 850 HP around the 10th, 11th of February, all the way around to the 13th, 14th. Really quite cold. Um, and yeah does look like we'll be returning to overnight frost could be showers around which could be in wintry so if you are looking for some snowfall there is the potential there but it's by no means a massive cold snap it's just generally uh, a bit colder than average uh, and much colder than what we've had recently in the longer term though you can see those temperatures do return to around average if we do have a look at the ECWF run see how that does compare um have a look at the midnight run as the six third hasn't fully come out and you can see once again we see very similar over the next week or so and then we see that dip in upper air temperatures for around two or three days maybe a bit pessimistic not as many holding on to that cold air for more than maybe two or three days but still all of them or pretty much most of them are going down to that minus five or less um, or lower really in terms of upper air temperatures before it returns to around or above average so it doesn't look like it's a massive change but as well we're going to be seeing a bit of uh, Atlantic amplification for a period of time, maybe a few days, which will allow some cold air in from the north for around uh, a few days, uh, is what it's looking like at the moment. Uh, and again, could return temperatures back down to maybe five, si five, six degrees in the day, so below average and around freezing at night. Now, if we have a look at the precipitation, now you can see that score front moving through at the moment with potentially some wintriness on its back edge, even into potentially low lying areas, even in the England Wales. Um, could be some wintriness there, but it would be mainly the showers in behind it that could uh, be wintry. You can see once again the main risk over Northern Ireland, Ireland, Scotland, parts of Republic, uh, sorry, parts of Wales and Northwest England. But it could come into land for a time, maybe through Friday afternoon into the evening. Could be seeing some wintry showers there potentially across sort of the Cheshire Gap streamers potentially setting up. But again, it will be very much convection based, so it's very difficult to forecast it. And best thing to do would be looking at the radar. Beyond that, though, we see another wind, uh, sort of. Uh, area of precipitation moving to the north, wintry over the hills, but turning back to rain as it spreads southwards, and then we go much colder with some winchiness in the north. Again, showers, convection based, before we go back a bit more westerly. Now, if we do have a look at the max temperatures, you can see today, not too bad, around 10 degrees in the south, 4 or 5 degrees in the north, and then free Friday, we see temperatures drop real low during the day, only 5 or 6 degrees in the day, and in the north, maybe minus 1 minus two degrees so much colder in the day than it even is at night then through friday into saturday you can see early hours are pretty chilly so maybe a frost for many areas for saturday but temperatures will be on the up eight nine ten degrees pitching in the south a bit colder further northwards and then by sunday we start to see temperatures return um colder once again seven or eight in the south but very cold in the north those cold air spread southwards very temporarily by monday gets swept away could be a frost but by the afternoon sort of 11 12 degrees and by tuesday temperatures back to around seven or eight so very very up and down um it's very going to be very very up and down i must say like some days will be very cold chilly northwesterly winds like for example tomorrow and other days it'll be much milder and it will be very regional as well it does look like the north will see quite some quite cold conditions but that's not too unusual of course um there could be some frosts isolated frost in the south uh, but as i said towards the middle of, uh, of the month um in the next sort of 10 days there's potential to see a more sustained cold spell maybe two three four days where we could see some harder overnight frosts and some wintry showers maybe not exclusively over the north and uh, over northern hills but we could see them more widespread but again all depends on the orientation and uh, exactly how long we get that colder air in for and now finally we'll have to have a look at the uk met office weather warnings so we do have ice warnings in force now this is for wintry showers we're going to be seeing from tomorrow at 3 a.m until 10 a.m Turning cold on Friday morning with wintry showers, or with, with showers pushing across the country from the west. Icy stretches are likely, showers may fall asleep in snow, perhaps giving some small accumulations of up to 200 metres. So again, risk, again, mainly over the hills. 
but it could be pretty chilly um, and icy out there. So make sure you do stay safe if, you, uh, if you're going out in these affected areas, which is all in Northern Ireland and much of Western Scotland, especially of the high ground, but including Glasgow, Stirling. So make sure you do um, watch out tomorrow as it may not look icy, but it could be very slippery and icy out there. But yeah, at the moment, no massive change, but there is a signal for a bit more high pressure to return towards the middle of the month, maybe giving us a, a bit of a colder, settled spell, um, and it could deliver some more overnight frosts, hard overnight frosts, some much colder temperatures, and maybe some more snowfall. Um, not expecting anything massive, but it better than what we have now if you're looking for some wintry weather. But anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.